Okay, yo, what's up? Prince Sports. Yo, Naomi Osaka, okay? She's an up-and-coming tennis star. Now, she beat Serena Williams, all right? She beat the legendary Serena Williams, you know, gave her that good retirement treatment saying, hey, this is my house now. I'm the new ruler of this tennis court. But there's a little drawback, so a little chink in the armor for uh, Miss uh, Naomi. Um, she has the same dang as Kyrie Irving, okay? They both don't like talking to the media. But she don't really like talking to the media to a point that she labeled talking to a media as like mental issues. Like she has mental issues when it comes to talking to uh, the media and like um, it's some setback for her, um, you know. And I was like, hold up. You playing the crazy card or the mental issue card? Um, maybe it's just best to say that you just don't like talking to the media. But nevertheless, she Tuck herself out of the French Open and say, hey, you know what? I don't want to have a part of it. Jeez. So picture this. You're a young star. All right. This could be in any sport. You know, you have all the spotlight on you. All the cameras are on you. Some people can't handle that pressure, that mental burden that comes along with having all this stuff in your face. Everybody in your business. Maybe she was getting fame at too much at a high level, you know. Some people can handle it, some can't, you know, and you always have to take your hat off to people that can handle that pressure. The Zion Williamsons, the LeBron James, anybody that's drafted into a professional sport, they come with a lot of pressure to perform. They come with a lot of pressure to, um, you know, overachieve. And you got to understand something, man. Some people, uh, they all built different, you know, and mental issues is not something to laugh at. A lot of uh, a lot of people are, at least on the other side, are sh saying it's weak. You know, she don't deserve to be you know, on the tennis court, this and that. But you don't know what that girl going through. I mean, what if she's going through some personal issues with her family that she don't want to talk about? Because everybody got different ways of handling stuff. You know, you could look at something and say, hey, it's weak. But piss yourself in that shoes first before you start judging that person. Because uh, being a celebrity or being having the cameras on you is not an easy task for a lot of people. Some people cannot handle it. So the tennis association came down on it. You know, the whole uh, the whole community said, "Hey, you know what? You don't want to play tennis, fine. But guess what? We're gonna find you, and." It's in your contract that you got to talk to the media. But she says, you know what? I don't want to talk to the media. You know, they're a play. They're this, they're that. And um, she's labeling, you know, her condition, you know, mental issues, having a lot of stress. You know, I do give her credit for standing down. Now, if it'd be a different story if she still continue to violate the rules. But, hey, if you go on to work and you realize, hey. I can't perform at this level no more. I don't want to be here. You know, then it's good to gracefully bow out. You know, and that's what she did. She bowed down. She was like, yo, I don't want to be here no more. She'd be coming back. I don't know. But I think she has a, still has a bright future as a tennis player. She beat Serena Williams. She's young. She's agile. You know, she won the tournament. She's the face or trying to become the face of tennis, you know, half black, half Jap. And, you know... I wish the best to her that, you know, hopefully she could get back on the tennis court and play. She was definitely young and exciting. And it was shocking to see her beat Serena. I thought Serena was going to beat the brakes off. Her, and she ended up winning. But, you know, if it's not in your heart, you don't want to do something, nobody could force you to do it. This is the same issues that I have with Kyrie Irving. You know, if you don't want to play basketball, you know, hang them up. You know, do the same thing she's doing. You know, but... He's continuing to play basketball, so we're going to have to continue to interview you, and we have, we have to continue to judge you. That's how the things go. You know, sports is always going to be a type of sport when you get criticized for whatever you do. You know, it's just how the game goes, you know. And you're going to – there's wins, there's losses, man. It just fluctuates. And how you win, what circumstances you had to overcome, a lot of stuff plays into factor when we're cr criticizing people. But – that's how sports go. But hopefully Naomi should, could come back. And it'd be good to see her back on the tennis court. I'd like to see that rematch with Serena Williams.
Prince Boys out. Peace.